morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Monday and today I'm gonna share with you the miracle that happened to us this weekend. But first, chores. Chores and snow. Snow and ice. <laughs> Crunchy snow. Come on. Come on, Amy. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Hi, Pan. Hi, Penny Pickle. You had so many shavings in there. What happened? Something crazy happened in the night. You've been... Wow, look at your face. Okay, I see what happened. <laughs> you were a roller. You so... Oh. Wait till I show you her face. Every day I tell you, wake up and go outside and find the miracle that God has planned for you and you all think I'm talking about the sunrise or the sunset or the newly fallen snow or the beauty of a pony that has rolling, laid in her, in her stall and rolled around so much to enjoy the comfort of a soft bed, but that's not what I'm talking about, you guys. It is not what I mean. It is almost December 1st and my gift to you starting on December 1st is going to share and show you how to get everything that you want in life into your life. I don't mean simple, amazing, everyday miracles. I mean the miracle of God wanting you to have everything that your heart desires. And I'm gonna begin today and show you how it works. You hungry? You hear her? She's like, give it to me, give it to me now. The only problem is, Penny, that Sam is on a mission to bond with you. And Sam has a special treat for her, I see. And he wants to give it to her. And he had to go back to the house with the puppy. Right, there you go, Miss Willow Willow. I saved, I saved her food for you. Yeah, because you wanted to give her the carrot. You want to give her the carrot after? Okay, I'm taking her out. That's why I'm here. The only reason I'm here is because I'm to take out my girl. Sam is home today. Whoo, he is cold. Wow, oh, good girl. That's a good idea, actually, to do it while you're standing in her stall because this is her scaredest spot. Yes, wash that stuff off of her. She is covered in a mess. Look at her stall. Good girl. Good girl. Careful. So we teach our horses to bite. That doesn't sound right. We teach them to bite the things that we hand them. Good girl. All right, let her eat her head. She is head shy, but she's getting better. She, she lets me do a lot with her head. Um, every single year, Sam and I take one day for ourselves. We take one day, we abandon the children, and we spend the whole entire day by ourselves together. And it is not what we do. <laughs> we spend this one day together Christmas shopping. It's our Christmas shopping day. Today is the day that we go out there and we agree to both agree to spend money and buy the things that we need to shower our family and our loved ones and our friends with the things that we want to give them for the Christmas season. If you're like us, you might be thinking, oh Laura, have fun with that because my husband never ever wants me to buy things for people. Yeah, that's the same husband that I have too. But on this one day, we set aside our spending differences and we go out there and we buy the things that we have already kind of planned that we want to buy for our kids. And some that Sam doesn't know we're gonna buy. I love how you talk to me, Penny Pen. All right, so let's take a look at this dirty old face. Let's put your halter on. Put it on. Good girl. Uh, often I'm amazed by the way this horse has been trained and how incredible she is to us. How she loves me to rub her eyes. She thinks, scratch me, mama. I'm not your mama though, are you? Am I? I'm your equal partner in life. I feel that kindred spirit from her all the time. And the fact that I feel like we connect. I feel like I understand her and I feel like she understands me. Although I feel like her desire to be dirty is a lot different than my desire to not be dirty. For her not to be dirty. I don't want you to be dirty, Pen. Uh, there was a time recently that she would not let me touch her ears. At all. 
Hey, get out. At all. She would never, ever, ever let me touch her ears. But now she is. Now she does. There are so many firsts every single day with Penny. All right, let's get your halter. She's like, enough already. Stop fussing over me. I don't care if I'm dirty. The ponies don't want to go outside. They're waiting for their leader. Their fearless leader. They're like, I'm staying in. Where's my Penny? Ruby, oh. That's a girl. Uh-oh. It is sunny. Oh, it's hard to do this with only one hand, but she allows me. Because she's a princess. She is a pretty princess. Hold on. Here. I got your treat. So I realized something last night when I was supposed to be sleeping. I had another night where I was awake most of the night. And what I realized... Wait, I'll give you one more. Because you let me touch your ears. What I realized was that I'm creating disharmony in the herd. By giving a penny a treat in the mornings. Or when I come out. I'm kind of trying to train her to come to me. And that's all fun and good, except for that I'm making her feel... I'm making her feel as though she has to fight the other horses off for the treat that I give her. And I never want to go back to a time where Gracie feels stressed out or beaten down. You guys know that in the past, in other homes, and even in our home, she has felt the struggle of being the bottom horse in the herd. And she got really fearful. And I've noticed lately, she's not fearful with us, but I notice that she is on guard around Penny a little. So, you want a treat too? So this is the last time, last treats given in the arena. That's it, last one. Count yourself lucky. All right, one more, because I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for you. So it's true. I don't want to create this harmony in our little herd. It's been going so well, and I noticed just lately the Penny's been getting more bossy with, with the girls, and normally she doesn't even pay attention to them. So from now on, uh, to, for Penny to get her treat, she needs to come to me, and I need to take her into the stall and put her in the cross ties, and that is when she is gonna get a treat. And you too. Okay, so I'm leaving Sam here to clean the stalls because it's the yuckiest part of this job. <laughs> Why have a husband if you can't use him to do the yucky stuff? Hey! That! You are making a pile so huge! I keep blaming Sophie for that! It has to go over there! You just created a whole new section! All the poop pile haters are going to hate on you! I hate to say it, but I think the this day-by-day -day vlogs camera is biting the biscuit. I'm going to have to order a new one. Hopefully, I'll do that new today. One. Yeah, it's time to get a new camera, a new vlog camera. This one is giving me grief. But anyway, back to the point where I told you to wake up every day, go out there, and see the miracle that God has for you. So, last summer, about five months ago, I mentioned to you guys that I was looking for a communication system for lessons, something that our trainers could wear that could project their voice so that the riders could hear them, so the girls could hear them. It's, it's so noisy in the barn, it's noisy outside when they're riding at home, and our, our kids have trouble hearing our coach. So, a lot of you guys jumped to my rescue and they told me about a, a system called CC, I think, C-E-E-C-E-E. -E -C -E -E. And I looked at it for probably a month. I read all the things about it, I watched videos on how to work it, it involved programming, this little device and then programming all the other devices and basically it's something that your coach wears in their ear and then all the riders wear a piece in their ear. You can have like five different pieces and all the riders and she can just talk in a normal voice and everybody will hear her. Well, I know me and I know our family and there's no way we could handle all that. That is a lot for us to handle and I knew it wasn't going to work for us and I wanted it to work for us because I really want some kind of noise amplifying system so that our coaches can speak better. Um, but sadly, I had to let the dream go because that device I knew was not the right device for us. So in typical Laura fashion, I let it go. I told God what I needed. I told God what I wanted and then I just let it go. I couldn't find it. I just let it go. And then recently on Saturday, we were spent the whole day shopping, Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie and Sam and I, we spent the whole day out shopping, having the best day. And when we came home, there was a package on the front step. Was there not a package on the front step? And it's Saturday. Usually we don't get deliveries on Saturday. So we opened it up and lo and behold, there was this 
in the box. This is a Win Bridge Original Voice Amplifier for teachers, tour guides, instructors, youth counselors, professors, clowns, elderly, and anybody who has a soft voice. So um, often, because we're on YouTube, often companies will just send us stuff, random stuff, and this is something that some company, Winbridge, sent us randomly, and it was something that I had been praying for and hoping for. God heard my message, and suddenly, outside my door, was this voice amplifying system so i freaked out i didn't vlog it i freaked out i was so excited because this is what i wanted and it just came to my door i had to do nothing other than pray about it ask god tell god what i needed and then wait and god sent it to my door this is better than i even dreamed sometimes when i am able to just let go and leave it to god to deal with the things that i'm wishing for he sends me the best and most amazing things so it's this little teeny tiny personal amplification system uh you wear it on your neck show them how you wear it so brandon and fiona will wear it over their neck and then it also comes with this amazing headphone it's super lightweight easy you won't even notice that you have it on this part where you speak is the, made from this weird bendy material that's so super cool so basically it is such an amazing thing for us to use in lessons i already showed brandon we took it out of the box right away it came already charged up um, you can even put it around your waist as a belt this thing you don't even have to wear it you can put it on your belt um of course, we tried it out. I'm going to show you that video right now of us trying it out the night that we got it. <sighs> Gabby, you're doing it all wrong. Kaylee, get that Appaloosa thingy out of here. I just wanted to share this little tiny bit of how God helps you get the things that you want. And I want you guys all to know that he actually wants you to have all the things that you want to have. Sometimes it takes him a little while. Sometimes you need to wait. Sometimes we're not ready for the things that we want. And sometimes he says, oh. Just you wait, I have something way better for you than what you want. I always talk about finding the miracles that God has planned for you, and this is just one of the many miracles that God had planned for us. I want to hear in the comments below a mini miracle that you've had recently sent from heaven. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you would like to get one of these Winbridge original voice amplifying systems, they have other ones as well. This is so cost effective. Like I looked it up online when we when it came and the price of this, I would have bought three of these. Like the price is so amazing. This is a fraction of what that other system costs. Like this is so much, this is so much more me. I know that many of you guys would be interested in something like this, something that you can maybe gift to your coach for Christmas. So I will definitely put the link in the description box for this exact one. So unfortunately, my children have decided that this year's shopping day, Sam and my private shopping day, is their game and they've come along. And they've come along because, why did you come along? Because we wanted to buy stuff. Tell me why did you come along? No school. Oh, so they could get out of school. See, they didn't tell me that until we got to the store. I mean, my kids are not dumb. That is for sure. First stop of the day is the tax store. I told you guys yesterday that we needed to get two new blankets, and we decided we're going to get some from this store. We've never bought blankets from this store because oh, I... Can I choose this? Because I didn't have a good blanket. Yeah, but I want him to have a new one. That's cute. Yeah, some of this cute. I like it. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're looking at dog blankets? So, my dog can actually have these, so we're going to get them I can't try boots. Oh, you didn't bring shock, socks? No, I'm wearing socks. Well, it doesn't matter. You have to go try them on. Um, okay. Because Sophie figured out how to tell what her dogs need. I want this one for Molly. All right. All right. So, this was not on the list of getting new coats, but you should get her purple. No. Let's get blue. I want this color. Yeah, that kind of coat's not that good. I know. I have a purple one of this. For, that was cookies, but it was too big. I kind of like this one. Alright, um, so get one of the ones on the top there. So you can get... Them. You can get the shed... The, the These are the ones we've had really good luck with that. You should get purple because she's a girl. Alright, I picked a blanket for Penny. Now Gabby's going to pick a blanket. Penny's such a weird shape. She said I can bring it back. Mine was $100. Let's see what Gabby goes for. Scissors. Oh yeah, those are nice scissors. For cutting like four locks and stuff. Those are the cutest bell boots oh, of life. They fit my thumb. They fit my finger. We are at a whole new tax store.
for you guys. You haven't seen this tech store. We've only ever gone to it one time in our lives. All right, we're seeing all the Western stuff, but you know what? Since we're here, oh, there's a Tucker saddle. Look at that one. Oh, that's I like, like this one. This so, one Tucker is one of my favorite brands. That's what I ride in at the Paso place. Isn't that nice? I like it. Look at how tiny that saddle is. It's so small. It looks big in the, in the camera, but it's tiny. All right, I don't know. No, I'm looking for boots. English boots. Look at that. Wouldn't Penny love that? Oh, that's so cute. I like that too. Gabby wants to try this on Chino. The problem with that is that, is that I think that because he plays with the bit already so much, if you give him something that rolls around and he could really play with, that's going to encourage him to do that. Okay, so this has been a disaster. It's a disaster! Sam has to pee. Gabby's starving. I have things that I have to get. Like, I don't, I'm afraid all the stores are going to close, which is why Sam and I plan this day to shop. Sometimes people say, how come you have so much patience, Laura? Why, why you ask? Because I learned it. <laughs> I learned it with my family. You are literally worse than the kids. Well, when I have to pee, I can't do nothing. The world stops when Sam has to pee, you guys. Sorry, why don't they close the bathrooms at the stores? Why? Why do that? When people have to pee, they have to pee. <laughs> because Corona. Just get people to Something sports. smells inside our car. I don't know what it is. It did no, not smell store, this morning. The store was giving me a headache. Sophie, I feel like your dog pooped in our car. No. Better not have. So we drove far away to do this shopping trip. So now we're going to go to the mall, try and finish off a couple more things that I have already planned. Everything else that I have to get, I probably will end up ordering it. But I just really wanted to like knock all this stuff off my list. You guys know what it's like. You want to be prepared for Christmas and who knows what's going to happen this Christmas. Like I was saying, um, two hours from here in either direction has been shut down completely. The only things that are necessities like food. So they can't even go to the malls and go shopping. I'm worried that that's going to happen to us. So I'm taking it. We're taking extra steps or at least we're trying to. Just to show you how fa unfair today is, where we are right now, there's not a drop of snow. But where we left, we were completely under snow. You guys saw that at our house, we are completely under snow. One hour away and there's not a drop of snow. Like, I'm, I want to move. It's a God telling me, move to Florida, Laura, move to Florida. Apparently they have big, huge spiders in Florida. Would you still want to go? I would. Mm -hmm. Big, huge spiders in Florida. And crocodiles. We have big and, spiders yeah. long legs. Yeah, like in Canada, it's too cold for anything bad to live. Why they say Canadians are really kind people it's because we live a hard life in this cold weather. So for lunch we're eating at the mall and I got sushi. Who does not love some sushi? Gabby got a burger. Does, Gabby does not love some sushi. You do not love sushi, do you? Do you love sushi? I've never tried it. You wanna try it? What is it? I would like it more squeaky. <laughs> The down, the downfall of the day by day girls is the the stuffy section, the dog section. It's cheap. Oh, we gotta clean your shoe, clean your hands. So love it. It has a turtle now. Gabby likes to look at the sweater. That's cute. It's good. It's nice, a nice fall color. You have to check with Kaylee. Yeah, we have horses. And you don't even brush your hair. You think you can handle white gloves? Like that one. Yeah, this is the sweater Gabby wants, and that's the sweater it almost looks like. Super cute. Well, you should get it for Christmas. We have two stores left, and then we are headed home to our horses. I miss them. I always get nervous when we leave them. I feel bad. Storms there with a lot of very heavy blanket, and then I feel bad that lemon. And I feel bad that Penny's there with a heavy blanket on, and who knows what the temperature is there. Anyway, we where. All right, we're headed into Lululemon. It's my very first time ever. Pray for me, you guys. Pray for me. Yeah, that's different. They're different. These ones are different than the ones you have. So are they th three quarter length though? So I always like Gabby. Yeah, Gabby's lost her Lululemon shirt. We've lost it. Did we find it in your closet? I don't know. That sweater, except for the turtleneck, is so nice. 
It's not soft, but it's gorgeous. 413, we are getting there, you guys. We have one more store to stop by and we're done. I don't think I videoed in Lululemon. I think only for a second. Um, it was swamped in there. Gabby got a couple of things. Since I had sons, I always, once they reach a certain age, I take them shopping and let them pick the clothes that they want for Christmas and I wrap them up and they open them up again on Christmas. It's like getting a surprise all over again because it's really hard for me to pick out clothes that they would like and I it's just a waste of money I feel like it is just a waste of money sure they would probably be grateful for them but I don't know if they'd wear stuff that they don't like so I like them to have what they like so that's what we did she picked out a couple of things a few things at that store and that is her entire clothing budget for Christmas one store one small bag three things her entire clothing budget all right so the last store is the root store so I had this idea of buying my grandkids I always buy them an outfit some pajamas and some toys Ooh, could I do work and for yeah I thought about like what if I got I have two granddaughters and two grandsons what if I bought them like matching outfits but different colors those are adorable but what I was thinking like getting a gray set gray pants what the heck is this gray pants and with the pink for the girls and gray pants with the red for the boys or even the gray with the white for the boys there's my girl she's like you're late it's six o'clock i eat at five o'clock don't you know oh look at that girl look at her lips she's like feed me you see her lips she's like you the, the food people are here and I'm extra happy to announce that we still have snow just joking I, know. <laughs> I am not happy I love snow I hate snow as long as it's not cold We're home from the traveling the direction that we went in they do not have COVID yet we are allowed to go there oh hello babies are we gonna just let Penny walk in I can really go for some stale fries right now you could really go for some stale fries Mm -hmm. Where's the giant worm and I picked it up? You picked up. I had to move it away from the steps. Uh, Alright, are we gonna just let Penny walk in? Yeah, you can. Alright, alright. She gets a. She runs a little bit. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Right, we've got pretty, pretty Princess Pony 1, Princess Pony 2, Pretty Princess Pony 3, it's a cat. <laughs> And, and my pony's not coming in. <laughs> Come on, pony. Hello. Hi, Hi Lexi. I love how she Go check and see if she has food. Come on. Come on. My cat's very pretty. Good girl. Yeah, she goes fast because she's, she's a fast walker. <laughs> Paka, 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 paka. I love the sound of her little hooves. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna push it farther for you so it's not near the water. Okay, there you go. Eat it up there, pretty pence, pretty princess. I'm sorry we're gone all day, but tomorrow is my birthday, Penny. Tomorrow is my birthday. All I want to do for my whole birthday is go riding. Okay? It's gonna be the coldest day this week, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna go riding. In the snow? Yeah, you're coming with me. That's all I want for my birthday. I hope her blanket fits. I got her one size smaller. I'm gonna try it on tomorrow. Tomorrow for my birthday, it's gonna be a Laura and Penny day all day long. After I clean up, after we do showers, after we do all the stuff, it's gonna be a Laura and Penny day. So this is the blanket print that I got for Penny. It's navy and pink, and then it has some tan, I think, in there. But I, it was the closest to pink I could get, you guys. I'm super excited to try it on her tomorrow. Okay, we got Molly a really nice new coat. You guys might know that Ruby has a red one like this. Is your problem, Missy. What happened? Are you excited? Oh, that's their version of sneezing or something. So does it fit? Yeah, it's a little short. But like... You think it's a little short? We looked at the weight. This one's up to 35 pounds. That's how big she's getting, 35 pounds. Wait. Oh, it's cute. So you can fold it down, keep the hood up like a turtleneck, or fold it down. I prefer folding it down. What do you think, Ma? Here's your blanket. It does look small. All right, Daisy. Come on, show Mama your new blanket. Ruby's got a red one. Aww. 
So Daisy got a blue one. I tried to get hers a tiny bit big, yeah. but it actually looks like it fits perfect. Now where's Ruby's? Where's Ruby's? We'll have to get Ruby's. Ruby's got a red it one. It fits big. No, That's I think it fits good. The same exact one, just different colors. Yeah, they all three have the same ones. All right, that is it for today's video, you guys. I'm sorry that it was just a shopping vlog, but sometimes you just have to shop. It is just something that has to happen, especially close to Christmas. I'm sure we'll have a couple more days that we spend out shopping at the mall. But for now, we are mostly done, and I hope you guys are able to get all your shopping done amidst the whole corona virus situation. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Night. Good night. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can.